By default, Siren show in the middle of the main window the disassembly of the current location or next to go location. Uh, you can ask for more disassembly part by using the view menu code disassembler. It's going to open a new disassembly window and you start at the same location than previously, or you can simply click on the quick action button uh, code disassembly. The code disassembly function uh, can be also found on many other parts of the software, for example, from the function statistics. If you simply double click on a function, it's going also to open uh, a disassembler. Uh, part. If you are in the Apple 2 GS internals uh, and you are looking, for example, to the current file in memory and we take the game uh, segment located on this address, if you double click, once again, you go on the handle uh, and you can disassemble uh, the handle part. Okay. So, <clears throat> of course, you can create as many disassembly function or window as you need, especially when you need to follow a code that create a code that itself call another, another function. So the disassembly window can be expanded simply by grabbing uh, the lower part or simply by defining the number of lines we would like to get. <clears throat> uh, on the window itself, what do we have? We have the MX, uh, which is the size of the register A and X and Y. So zero means 16 bit, one mean uh, eight bit. Uh, we have of course the address, we have the uh, byte uh, of the opcode plus uh, the operand. We have the label if it exists. So here we have uh, already the symbol loaded in memory and we are using the house software. So we can see that automatically Siren can find the right labels and put the name of the label. Because of the symbol file, we also know that this part is hexadecimal, while this one is, is more code. When the software can't understand something, it will put some uh, red saying that, okay, it's not a valid operation. Of course, the first thing you have to consider is to make sure that you are using the right size of the register. This is an Apple II GS game, so most of the time everything is in 16 bit. So just by clicking, uh, you will get your error free. Uh, you can scroll down uh, a little bit, you can scroll up. You can also use your mouse wheel uh, just to scroll up, scroll down. You can go page by page. Um, when an address is recognized, it's not something part of the symbol table, but something more internal, automatically there is a comment uh, giving you some hits. Uh, so for example, uh, we recognize the uh, SCB part, here we recognize the uh, SHR and, uh, and so on. Based on the kind of software you are disassembling, up to you to select the right processor. This is here an Apple II GS game, so we select this one. If we were looking more at the Apple II to see specific uh, application, uh, you will more go for the 65 CO2, or if you are really starting to disassemble an Apple II 8-bit uh, from the 80s, it will be more 6502. The data bank uh, can be set, especially not only for the assembly, but just to recognize uh, some labels that can be put uh, on other bank. Uh, up to you to select uh, the location you want uh, directly here. Uh, to disassemble, you can also go by symbol. So uh, getting the play game function, uh, double click here, and you start in the uh, play game. <clears throat> 